Hello and welcome. This is something I wanted to throw together really quick. It's kind of interesting. And what it is has to do with the secondary clutch. Now, most everyone talks about this guy right here. This is the C-clip. So this retainer here is what's normally found on 2016 to 2018 Polaris Razor XP turbos. Now a big upgrade is to do what's called the clip eliminator. And this one here is in particular is from Aftermarket Assassins. Uses a series of washers and he actually includes more washers so that you can adjust the backlash and more as you do. But the thing is with this is that it does not sit perfectly aligned. It like it doesn't align with the secondary shaft as well as I think it should. So like these washers kind of sit there kind of funny and whatever. So in 2019, Polaris and Team Industries came up with a different design, basically their own version of a clip eliminator kit. Basically, it still has that washer with the weird hole in it, this big thick washer that fits over the shaft and creates the spacing, and then a longer bolt. It's pretty cool. And uh, it creates just a perfect amount of backlash, so the belt sits there. This particular belt here is the Gates belt that I've always had as backup and I decided to throw on kind of help break it in a little bit and then put it back into backup use and then in addition to that this will be the next belt here the badass belt from Evo so those that have kind of played along here a little bit know that I did about 2,000 miles on the OEM belt it worked perfectly fine I went ahead and replaced it with the Ultima UXP 480 belt and it had nearly 2,000 miles on it. It started to squeal pretty bad though There towards the end and I think a lot of it had to do with going You know in the snow there and then high gear and just pushing the hell out of it uh, Level 3 aftermarket assassins tune high gear deep snow that belt just started to glaze over pretty bad and uh I don't blame the belt at all on that. That's pretty much all on me. I should have been in low gear or keeping my speed down a little bit, <laughs> which doesn't happen very often. But again, that's all on me. Glazing the belt is, you know, my fault, whatever. So in the meantime, like I said, I threw in this Gates belt here to kind of help break it in, whatever. It's always been in this storage box here, just sitting as backup that entire time. So. Yep, we'll go ahead and get it broken in, maybe get about 100, 200 miles on it, and then I'll go back into backup service, and then we'll put into service this belt here. Full throttle off-road and side-by-side -side blog really, really like the Evo belts, and I was thoroughly impressed with the badass belts on full throttle off-road. Those guys absolutely love it, so I might as well try it. But I wanted to highlight a little bit on the secondary here. So 2019 and up, Turbos, Turbo S have that style of uh, fastener and washer setup and stuff like that versus 2016 to 2018 which uses clip and then in the meantime a lot of a couple different companies came out with the clip eliminator basically stacking washers to create the backlash and I cannot say I was a real big fan of that so well, it is what it is. So, anyway, I just wanted to give a quick update on the different things that we've done on this 2018 Flores Razor XP Turbo. If you like what I do, subscribe. Like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.